Toastmasters, the fallacy of flags. Tell me, are you proud of your flag? The flag in Korea, what's on your flag? There is red, white, black lines, a uh, yin yang. Anthony, what's on your country's flag? Red. Nothing, just the stripes. Stripes. Do they mean anything? Mm, yes, yes, they do mean. Okay. Clarence, what's on your flag? Red, white, and blue. Uh, white stars. 50 stars meaning 50 states. Oh, okay. And blood, the red is for the blood of the land, white is for purity. Is that true? Supposedly, that's what's supposed to be. After this talk, I'm going to go online and check. <laughs> <laughs> if it's, and if it's not true, I'm going to vote for Anthony. If it's true, you only eat my heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll read you a trick. Back to the flags. Are flags good or bad? Let's find out. Can we identify every flag here? Argentina, Germany, Brazil, China. This one's middle, is that Cuba? Maybe. That one is Finland, Germany, Hong Kong, Mexico. How do you make a flag? It's easy. First you have a plus sign, then you have an X, and then you plus another red X and you get the flag of the U United Kingdom. It's otherwise known as the Union Jack. This is how they made their flag. They took three countries into one. What did they do with this idea? They put it on every other flag. There are 23 flags in the world that have this item icon on their flag. Australia, New Zealand, that's my home province here. Maybe, could be. Most of these I don't know. But try to imagine this. These countries are gaining independence. England says, sure, you can become your own country, but our icon must be on your flag. What? And the other countries, okay. Canada and the USA had this too. This used to be Canada's flag, top left. And that used to be the USA's, right before their <clears throat> insurrection. They call it a war of independence, but we both know what it was. The Union Jack used to be on your flag. It used to be on my flag. And we realized we don't need it. It's absurd. Good to serve. United Canada and United States. Some countries have very similar flags. Ecuador, Venezuela. Colombia, yellow, blue, red. It can be a little confusing, but they decided to put some images on it. But if you see it from a distance, you can't really tell. Who's that? I don't know. When you go to South America, they, they're not very creative. Let's all use the same colors, obviously. Gets worse. Some countries have a mirror image of each other. Like, oh, come on, you guys. Indonesia, Poland. Oops. Ah, upside down. <laughs> Ivory Coast, Ireland. There's a mirror. So, if the flagpole's here, technically, it's both countries, right? Depending which way the wind blows. Ooh. Some countries have the same flag. Really? Romania and Chad. Try to imagine, what if these countries go to war? And you're a soldier and you need to find your country's flag. <laughs> Ooh, chaos. Monaco, this looks familiar. Who else has this flag? Oh, it's Indonesia. They've got the same flag. You guys, really? They're not trying. Some countries put absurd or Ridiculous images on the flag. Mozambique. Can you see what they have? There's an AK-47. A gun. <laughs> what? Try to envision this conversation. There's a person here. He's trying to make a flag. This guy has a gun. You. Put this on the flag. Good. 
What? I don't want to wave this. No. AK-47, it has unpleasant ideas, uh, consequences. It's not an item to propose peace. Lebanon has a Christmas tree. Well, that's a little better. <laughs> if you're a Christian, that's okay. If you're Jewish, if you're a uh, Muslim, it's, uh, maybe it's not okay. Some countries have imaginary animals. Bhutan and Wales, they have a dragon. Again, try to envision this conversation. We need an image on our flag. What should it be? I got it. A dragon. A big scary dragon. It's as though they asked their five-year-old son to put this image. Really? A dragon? And the two dragons look completely different. But look at the flag at the bottom. The dragon is giving someone a high five. <laughs> Good idea. No! I think whales should use this instead on their flag. <laughs> this would make a little more sense. Some countries put interstellar objects on their flags. Moon and stars. Hmm. What do these flags have in common? They're all is Islamic uh, countries. Putting the moon on your flag, this is okay. Why? Our planet only has one moon. But try to imagine, what if we were to live on a planet with more than one moon? <laughs> we would need to change the flag. Mars has two moons. So if they ever lived on Mars, they have to change all their flags. Saturn has 60 moons. <laughs> Flag would be really congested at that point. Someone's not thinking. Some countries put words or sentences on their flag. Iraq. Or what does this say? Who knows? I'm looking at you, Z. I don't know exactly. This says Allah Akbar. It means God is great. But which God? <laughs> Supposedly, before 2003, this was written in Sudan Hussein's own handwriting. Uh, are you sure we should have that? Saudi Arabia goes one step further. Mozambique had a gun. Saudi Arabia has a sword. What's this sword for? I think it's for cooking hot dogs. <laughs> Shish kebab. Shish kebab, right. What does this mean? It says, there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. I think it's too long. They only need the first four words. That's fine. Some countries should change flags. Greenland is on the left. Libya, their old flag is on the right. They should actually change. This would make more sense. Greenland's flag is red. Like, what? No. No, no. Even pirates have a flag. <laughs> if you see a ship and they're carrying this flag, bad people are on it. But try to envision this. A group of scurvy knaves, they concocted this image. They're not a country. This represents their organization. Oh. What about the future? Even alien races on TV have their own flags. The Klingons and the Romulans have a flag. Well, that's curious. How did they get this idea? What? In about 30 years, we should expect to see this. We'll make contact with aliens, and chances are they will have a flag. Is this what we want? I don't know. Luckily for us, for me, they speak English. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters. Thank <laughs> you.